third preparatory grammar model verbs model verbs or can could may might will would shall should and must we use a model verb with a main verb to show ability possibility um, obligation and so on after model verbs we use the infinitive without to like i can speak english Modern verbs don't add s after he, she, or it, like he can drive or she might come. In questions and negative sentences, we don't use the auxiliary do, like may I come in. Modern verbs don't have past, perfect, or future forms. And now let's move to ability and possibility verbs. To talk about general ability or possibility in the present, we use can or be able to. Like I can speak French or we aren't able to take your call at the moment. To talk about general ability in the past, we use could, couldn't, or was, or were, able to. For example, she could or was able to read when she, she could or was able to read when she was very young, but she couldn't or wasn't able to write until she was older. Talk about the ability to do something on a single occasion in the past we use was or we are able to plus infinitive. For example, I was able to explain the problem to him. To talk about the ability to do something in the future we use can or will be able to. Also we use will be able to and not can to talk about an ability we will have or a skill we will acquire in the future. We use can or could to talk about typical behavior or event like it can rain a lot this time of year. We use could have plus past participle to talk about an unfulfilled possibility in the past. For example, I could have gone on holiday but I decided not to. The verb succeed and manage suggest that something is achieved with difficulty. Did you succeed in finding a hotel? We managed to get home at last. And now let's move to the exercises together. Exercise 31a, circle the correct answer. Letter B, I wish my father was the same. He, of course, he could or was able to play tennis well a few years ago. Let's move. To the second part of letter B, he was so ill a year ago that he could have died. And here the answer is could have died because we are talking about unfulfilled possibility. Now let's move to 31B, complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first, using the word in bold, used between two and five words. Number one, I'm afraid it's not possible for him to see you now. Use unable. So, I'm afraid he is unable to see you now. Number two, you will have the ability to understand Spanish after a few lessons. So, the answer, you will be able to understand Spanish after a few lessons. And here we use we will be able to because this sentence is in the future. And you can complete the rest of the exercise as the same. And now let's move to degrees of certainty. To show how certain we are that something is true or will happen in the present or future, we use may, might, could, must, can and can't. We use may, might and could to talk about something we think is possible now or in the future. For example, they may, might or could take a trip to the states next we don't use can to talk about the future possibility we use must or have to when we are certain something is true in the present for example he isn't at home he must be on his way here we use can't when we are certain something is impossible for example you can be hungry you have only just had lunch to talk about degrees of certainty in the past, we use may, might, could, must, can't, wouldn't, have, plus past participle. 
or may, might, could, must, can't, couldn't, have been, plus present, participle. And to talk about the possibility that something happened, we use could, may, might, have, plus plus participle, or could, may, might, have been, plus present participle. When we are certain something happened, we use must have plus plus participle or must have been plus present participle. For example, it's wet, it must have been raining. When we are certain something didn't happen, we use can't, couldn't have plus plus participle or can't, couldn't have been plus present participle. And now let's move to the exercises. Exercise 32A, circle the correct answer. Number one, they might have gone home. I don't see them anywhere. They might have gone home. Number two, surely he can still be alive after all this time. And you can complete the rest of the exercise. Let's move to 32B. Correct the incorrect sentence. She's wearing a nurse's uniform. She can be a nurse. So the answer is she must be a nurse because we are sure, we are certain that she is a nurse. Let's move to number two. I don't know if Dominic's here. He must be outside. So the answer, he might or could or may be outside. And you can complete the rest at the same 32 C complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first using the word in bold. Number one, it's possible that we will get a reply in a few weeks. Use could, so we could get a reply in a few weeks. Number two, perhaps Sandy is playing golf this afternoon. Use might, so Sandy might be playing golf this afternoon. And you can complete the rest at the same Let's move to 32G together. Com complete the article. Use the correct form of the verbs in brackets. Number one. Some scientists claim that a single event might have killed those enormous reptiles. So number one, might have killed. And you can complete the rest. And now let's move to obligation and necessity verbs. To say it's important or essential to do or not to do something, we use must, mustn't, and have got to. Must and mustn't is used when the speaker feels that an action is necessary. I must drink Adel today. By someone in authority, like a parent or a teacher, you must hand in your homework by Friday. We use have to or have got to when an action is necessary because someone else requires it because of a rule or law. We use have to for habits and have got to can only be used for single actions. For example, I have to catch the bus to work every day or I have to or I have got to catch the bus to work today. We usually use have to and not must in questions. Did you have to get a visa? But we can. We use mustn't when it's important not to do something. You mustn't wait here, which means you aren't allowed to wait here. We use don't have to when there is no obligation to do something. You didn't have to wait, which means there is no obligation, but you can wait if you wish. To talk about the future, we use must or have to, will, have to plus time expression. For example, I must email them tomorrow or we will have to get there before 5. And now let's move to necessity and lack of necessity. Need is a main verb and is followed by to plus infinitive. We use needn't and don't need to to talk about lack of necessity in the present or future. And when we say we didn't need to get up early because we had no morning classes, 
This means that we didn't get up early because it wasn't necessary. But when we say we needn't have got up early, our morning class was cancelled. This means that we got up early but it turned out that it wasn't necessary to do so. Now let's move to the exercises together. Page 78, 33a, circle the correct answer. Number one, I have to be at work every morning at night, but I think I'm going to be late today. So number one, have to. Number two, the children will be safe with me, so you needn't worry. Needn't worry. And here we don't use don't need because there is no to. And you can complete the rest of the exercise. And now 33b. Complete the sentence in the correct form of must or have to and the verbs in brackets. Number one. You don't have to stay in a hostel. You can stay with us. <coughs> so here we use don't have to because there is no obligation. Number two. He had to run to the station because he was late. And you can complete the rest.